Calling someone a neckbeard is a very serious accusation, and we don't condone calling anyone, even Seth Rogen, a neckbeard. If anyone you know shows sign of being a neckbeard, tweet about it. Make several angry Instagram posts, and remember to keep your distance. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Knurt here. Last video we talked about Ryan, or the Redditor. Well, today we're going to talk about a subspecies of Redditor slash Discord mods, neckbeards. Just a rundown of what a neckbeard is. Neckbeards are people who are socially awkward, not in the best shape, and obsessed over computers. Neckbeards are not as disgusting as people who ride Twix, but I would say they're right above people who play Titan and Destiny, so they're not in the best shape. Now that you have an idea on how I rank neckbeards, let's talk about neckbeard behavior and the things to look out for. Stage 1 is simple. It's just bad hygiene and not taking care of yourself. Now stage two, we all have that one homie who is socially awkward and just doesn't like talking to people. That's fine. He's just a beta, but pay close attention to him for he might develop signs of stage three. Now, sta stage three is if they tell you how cool the specs on their computer are and constantly bring up Linus tech tips. You might still be able to save them, but proceed with caution for they might have entered the final stage of becoming a neckbeard. Stage four. You know they've entered stage 4 when they use an underage anime girl as their profile picture. This is the final and saddest stage. You begin to lose all contact with your friend. But you can slowly see their descent into madness as they continue to post about it. Their favorite anime and how much they love their kitten. Now that you know about the critical stages of becoming a neckbeard, there's not really any cure. I tried to cure Ryan, I shot him 37 times in the chest, and uh, he hasn't moved for a while. Well, that was idiotic. Off to hang myself. Off and left. 